today we're at Indiana Caverns exploring caves underground. It doesn't matter what time of year it is because it's always 56 degrees inside the cave. And I know this little guy, he's missing out on quite an adventure today, but we are gonna have so much fun. We are explorers today. If it's on the ceiling coming down, it's a stalactite yes. holding tight to the ceiling. And if it's a stalagmite, it's going to might reach the ceiling. I, rem I never forgot that from elementary school. Now when you're inside a cave, little water droplets are constantly coming from the ceiling. And if one happens to hit you, it's called a cave kiss and it's supposed to bring you good luck. Well, we in Indiana are awful lucky to have Indiana Caverns right here in Southern Indiana. It's actually the longest cave system in the entire state, seventh longest in the entire country, and it's in the top 50 in the entire world. Now I'm the luckiest lady in the world. This is perfect size for Charlie and Right now we're about 110 feet underground inside the cave on a boat ride. Uh, pretty amazing. It's just fascinating. The kids are loving it. I wish yeah. you would wake up and enjoy it too. Even fish. Even fish. So this was the source of, of flint for the Native Americans in this part of the country. In so fact, they could start a fire from that? Yes, you could use it not only for making fire, you could also use it for making arrowheads and other tools. Oh, interesting. So this is some of the finest churn found anywhere in the world. We're right back to where we began at the entrance of the cave getting all the last minute cave kisses we can for good luck for the rest of our day. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this piece of furniture that's right behind us. This this used to be in the original county building, um, okay. and these drawers held all of the papers, the important papers of Harrison County. Hello? Miss Crawford, this is a oh. sanctum of scholarly contemplation. I'm in the middle of an argument. Not found of reprehensible reports for mass consumption. Oh. These drawers are repositories of knowledge unbound. I agree. William. Walking through, this is very interactive. It's an very. interactive way to learn about history, very. which my kids are having a blast. I can hear them playing off on the side, but you can learn a lot about this area and about Indiana in general, right? So we have a room with the archivist's office. We have a room that features our flora and our fauna of natural history. Very the cool. cave system, the system and the room for the caves. And then it does go through the history of Harrison County, our involvement in the American Civil War, and covers a whole lot of things that allow people to learn many different facts about Southern Indiana and Fort and Harrison County. A really fun way to learn. <laughs> Now something about the Civil War that you may not have known is really there were only three battles that were fought above the Mason-Dixon line. One of them was right here in Corridon. So we're right in the middle of the Battle of Corridon for the American Civil War. Thank you for having us. Harrison County is such a cool place and this is such a neat building that teaches you all about it, all the wonderful aspects. There's so much history here. Being a huge history geek, I'm very, very excited. But thank you for being our tour guide today. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm so glad your children had a wonderful time They did. Wow. Nature's awesome.